ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸಮಸ್ತ ಜನಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಿರತ ಕರುಣಾಮಯ ನಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ದೇವ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ವರ ವಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟೋಪನಿಷತ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ರಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಚಿಕೇತ ಹೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲಾಬ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ he is born in a family whose grandfather is known for charity vaja means annam grain shrava means fame one who has gained fame by giving annam in charity that person's name is vaja shrava son of vaja shrava is vaja shravas and son of vaja shravas is nachiketa it is said being born in a pious family is a sign of good punya karma in past birth and god's grace because we are not given a choice bhagwan gives family right from the beginning so if you see nachiketa being born in a family which is so pious that means his past karmas were very good punya karmas then he is looking at his father who is doing a sacrifice the name of that sacrifice was vishwajit yaga he wants to conquer over the world vishwa means world jit means to conquer means he wants better results here after after dropping this body going to higher loka how is he going to get it by giving away everything that he has that was a clause for vishwajit yaga but one thing he did was whatever good things were there whatever property was there everything he made it in somebody else's name <coughs> including nachiketa in his own name he kept old cows and technically he was meeting the requirement he was giving danam of this old cows pito dakaha jagdatrunah very weak drunk the last drop of water having no energy looking at this nachiketa his heart is overpowered with shraddha shraddha avivesha this is another quality of a student of vedanta that he has faith as his main anchor in life what is faith it's a belief in something that this thing is true for me in sanskrit the word is astikya buddhi this particular thing will be true for me that kind of thought is called as faith i don't see it being true right now i don't see it being true right now but i have faith that it is true and when a person lives life like this the culmination of that faith is in conviction so he starts his journey with shraddha that shraddha ends in vishwasa and if you see our whole life revolves around faith without faith person's mind will be very agitated and anxious if you say giving good samskara 
giving good samskara to children will help them live a very strong life will help them have good strength in their mind now the day we start giving them samskara do we see result right away we don't see it how do we start we start with the faith that if we give them the right samskara our shastra say gurus have said that they will have a very strong life whatever situation comes they will be able to handle it we started with faith but slowly as we go in through that journey that faith becomes vishwasa even for our own journey morning class we saw about meditation whatever benefits gurudev mentioned right we get through meditation we get a deep personality there is no despair amidst abundance all these things are results of meditation but to start meditation i have to have faith because on day 1 i am not going to see all those benefits which are promised to me as we go further that faith becomes conviction even in worldly scenarios if somebody joins some university let us say what is the promise they are given you will graduate with a degree and you will get a job without prayojanam nobody does anything ha huh? purpose has to be there then only we do things prayojanam anuddishya na mandopi pravartate without purpose even a dull person doesn't do anything but whatever they have promised we don't see it on day 1 but this person starts with faith that if i join this university and do my work as they want me to do then whatever result they have promised that i will get then finally when he gets it he becomes an anchor for other people to look up to and have faith he got his degree got his job he can look back and say anybody who joins this place will get it same with spiritual pursuit we are seeking something which is not an object of sense organs we are seeking that truth which never becomes an object so if this person has to start his journey he has to start with faith i might not have clarity but somebody else has walked this path and they have clarity unless i have faith in their words my journey will become more and more difficult that kind of shraddha nachiketa has shraddha avivesha means he is having so much of faith in doing the right thing he says father by breaking the rules it is not going to give us any good so this kind of cause you are giving them he says father's destination is not going to be good destination ananda namate lokah they go to dark worlds they will not go to good worlds whatever result he wants he will not get he is thinking these things in his mind but he has to go and tell his father how will he tell doesn't just go and tell father you are wrong he says it in a very sweet way father everything belongs to you technically speaking i also belong to you so you have given everybody everything away to whom are you going to give me to kasmai mam dasasi iti means it's a subtle way of saying pay attention to what kind of danam you are giving and he asks once asks twice you know whenever we are busy with things and somebody is pestering with same question over and over again naturally you get upset so out of that anger he just said mrutyave tvam dadami i will give you to lord death i will give you to yama this phrase in modern english also we use okay <laughs> all of us know what that phrase is somewhere they tell you to go <laughs> 
means out of anger you say you don't mean it so nachiketa heard this but his mind is different he goes to a corner imagine it was a big ground all pendals were there danam is going on cows are standing he finds one tree quietly goes and sits down starts thinking what does he think fifth mantra bahu name me prathama bahu name me prathama bahu name me madhyama bahu name me madhyama bahu name me prathama bahu name me prathama bahu name me madhyama किं स्विद्यमस्य कर्तव्यम् किं स्विद्यमस्य कर्तव्यम् यन्मयाद्य करिष्यति यन्मयाद्य करिष्यति नचिकेत इज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज स्वाभिमान अभिमान मीन्स प्राइड स्वाभिमान मीन्स हेल्दी प्राइड सेल्फ एस्टीम सेल्फ एस्टीम ही से बहु नामे मी प्रथम आउट ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव स्टडीड विथ मी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स अमॉंगस्ट ऑल ऑफ देम आई वॉज द फर्स्ट द बेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दैट आई वॉज ना इफ यू ओनली स्टॉप हियर इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज प्राइड He says the second part also. Bahu naami me madhyama. Sometimes I was not the best, but I was the second category. But never was I adhama. I never went to the third category. Nor did I fall to the fourth category. Ati adhama. Ati adhama. I was always prathama or madhyama. What is the meaning of these four words? there is a commentator anand giri ji he explains what is the meaning of prathama madhyama and adhama adhama he doesn't explain adhama guru ji explained in his kathopanishad talks prathama is the one that student is so tuned to his teacher without the teacher telling him what to do he knows what to do without teacher specifically asking anything he knows precisely what the teacher wants and he does exactly what the teacher wants that is called as prathama recently i heard from one devotee in our siddhabari ashram once gurudev was standing there was a beautiful painting and he was admiring that painting next to him guruji was there and right after gurudev looked at him guruji said can i reach out to the painter and gurudev said how did you know what i was thinking how did you know that is the sign ha huh? prathama means without the guru telling shishya knows what is to be done when I mean, they had another ashram where another painting was supposed to be done gurudev was thinking if this painter he has done such a good job we should have him do the other one also people who were in seva of gurudev they write in many places his day would start at morning 4 o'clock 3:30 and with the volume of work somebody would assist him with writing taking dictation letters and all and many a times he would just extend his hand whoever is serving should know what to give if you want pen you give tea <laughs> you want something you give glue that is madhyama student prathama is who is so tuned he knows precisely what he wants and he will live his life according to his guru ajna even when nobody is there ha huh? even if guru is not around his thought will be this particular action will it please my guru or not nachiketa says throughout my life i have lived like a prathama student i have understood what is the import of scripture and my guru and i am living my life according to their teaching 
समटाइम्स आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दे वॉन्टेड सो सेकेंड कैटेगरी इज मध्यम आहा मध्यम इज इफ यू टेल हिम आफ्टर दैट ही विल डू यू हैव टू टेल द स्टूडेंट वॉट इज टू बी डन देन ही विल गो एंड डू वॉट एवर हैज टू बी डन मेनी अ टाइम्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स आई वॉज प्रथम एट द मोस्ट आई वॉज मध्यम हू इज अधम इन स्पाइट ऑफ टेलिंग ही डजन डू इन स्पाइट ऑफ गुरु टेलिंग ही विल नॉट डू वॉट एवर द टीचर एज टोल्ड वॉट इज द फोर्थ वन अति अधम वॉट एवर गुरु एज टोल्ड डज द ऑपोजिट Nachiketa says I have lived my life as prathama and madhyama not anything else therefore what is his conclusion if i am getting this experience if i am going to this result that i have to go to meet yama that means what kim swid yamasya kartavyam yan maya adya karishyati he says there is some work that is stuck in yama loka that yama is supposed to be getting accomplished what is what could be that work that he wants to get accomplished through me he says i i am not wrong i have so much faith in my karma something is there that yama wants to get done through me when we were in school sometimes you would get called to the principal's office right the one who is a mischievous student he starts thinking for which mischief is he calling me <laughs> since monday i have done so many things i don't know which one he caught <laughs> but if student is sincere and he knows he has not done any mistake what will be start process maybe there is some work principal wants to get done through me this is nachiketa huh? he is thinking now that my karma is pure इन भगवत गीता भगवान कृष्ण से अभयम सत्व संशुद्धि अभयम सत्व संशुद्धि अभयम मीन्स फियरलेसनेस बट देयर ही डजेंट इलेबरेट हाउ टू गेट फियरलेसनेस वन के नॉट जस्ट रिपीट गो ऑन रिपीटिंग आई एम फियरलेस आई वॉन्ट टू बी फियरलेस एंड बिकम फियरलेस कटोपनिषद टेल्स एस वॉट इज दी most powerful way to be fearless if a person is holding on to values and he knows he has not compromised on dharma the sweet result he gets of such a life is fearlessness in spite of situation being very unconducive to what he is going through right now still his mind is my karma is proper whatever result i am getting i don't have to worry that is the first insight we can get second is importance of contemplation sometimes what happens is when our life is too busy we don't take out that time to sit in a corner and think this is the most powerful way to align our intellect with our mind because whatever we are listening we might listen so many so much of satsang we might study many text all of that knowledge is stored in intellect but the one who has to take decisions in my transactional world that is my mind if mind is not friend with intellect intellect will be here and mind will be here the conversation we have with our own mind is the way of befriending the mind with our intellect and it's a very joyful process a eh? joyful journey actually where the shishya is not somebody outside shishya is our own mind and guru is also not somebody outside guru is also our own intellect big brother and younger brother big brother telling younger brother what have you heard try to apply that in this particular situation whenever we feel what should i do so that vedanta should work in my life 
This is the sadhana. Whatever I have heard, reflect in such a way that I can internalize it in my transactions. I can reflect it in my choices. That is what Nachiketa is doing. Karma Siddhanta, he has been hearing for so long. But today he is faced with a situation where he says, if I am having this situation in front and I have not done anything wrong, there is something good hidden even in this situation. That is his thinking. It just highlights the importance of Mananam. You have heard the Gokarna story in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. His brother's name was Dhundukari. Whatever wrong anybody can do, everything he does ten times. And finally, Bhagavat Sapta is there. Dhundukari comes and sits in a bamboo stick. Seven knots of the bamboo, each knot starts opening every day of the Saptaha. Even now they keep bamboo stick huh? as a tradition. And last day, Dhundukari gets moksha and Gokarnaji wonders. He says, I gave the Saptaha, everybody else heard, how come Dhundukari got moksha, not anybody else? There it is said, Shravanam everybody does. But result only that person gets who does Mananam. It is not any action oriented sadhana. Right? There is a difference. If you say, do japa, you say, how many rounds should I do? Do two rounds. That we can understand, this is one sadhana. But this sadhana is not action oriented. He takes out quiet time during the day and is just conversing with his mind. With the right data, he is trying to educate the mind. If you want to give one word for spiritual journey, it is re-educating the mind. One line, re-educating the mind. Whatever is our previous notion has to be replaced with new things we are gaining from scriptures. This topic of Karma Siddhanta, it might look a little bit technical. But if you understand it right, it's very, very liberating from within. One Mahatma Ji, he would say, anybody came to him asking about karma. His point, his counter question to them was, do you want sorrow in life? Everybody invariably would say, no, nobody is there who says, I am wanting sorrow. Kunti Ji demanded it, but that was a different reason. Don't confuse it with Kunti Stuti. You know, in Kunti Stuti, she says, Vipada Santuna Shashvat. May I have a lot of difficulties. But she is asking it so that Bhagavat Smriti should be there. In general, nobody wants sorrow. So he says, if you don't want sorrow, then stop it. Try to stop sorrow. This devotee says, Maharaj, I tried, I couldn't stop. It came in such a way that it entered my mind and you would humorously say, it said Hari Om. <laughs> because sorrow is also you know, very spiritual. You cannot stop it, it will come no matter what. He said, if you cannot stop it alone, take help of your friends. Whoever is your well-wisher, bring everybody together, try to stop. He said, even if I have everybody with me, still if sorrow has to come, it can come in Raj Mahal and enter inside. Like in the case of Dashrath Maharaj, whose son is Lord of the Universe. Samdhi is Janak Maharaj. In that palace, they had to go through so many things. What does it show? If Dukkham has to come, nobody can stop it. So at this point, you agree? That devotee said yes. Okay, now look at the other side. If joy has to come, nobody can stop that joy from coming. Just like our friends could not stop sorrow from coming, our enemies cannot stop good results from coming to us. 
रिजल्ट ऑफ बैड एक्शन इज दुखम रिजल्ट ऑफ एरोनियस एक्शन इज दुखम रिजल्ट ऑफ गुड कर्म इज सुखम समटाइम्स यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एरोनियस एक्शन गिव्स दुखम बट टू गेट कन्विक्शन इन दिस फैक्ट दैट गुड एक्शन विल ब्रिंग सुखम देर समटाइम्स वी डाउट एंड वी माइट फील इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड बींग गुड इज नॉट सफिशियंट what do they say you have to know the tricks of the trade but the one who is following karma siddhant his firm conviction is if my karma is right the situation outside i don't have to worry about people outside i don't have to worry about they are only giving me what i have ordered for myself karma siddhant means that Gurudev's example is if i have money in my bank and i demand a money order if it comes through post the postman delivering it is just giving the letter he is just delivering the mail he is not giving me money order money order is mine which is coming me through this person now if i don't like the postman let's say he said something and we want to change the postman he says you change the postman that money order will still come he is just giving it what is meant to come to us so this person suddenly he shifts its attention from people outside world outside to himself do you see what nachiketa is doing here he is not complaining about his father he is not saying why did this why did father tell me this he is thinking i have lived a good life my karmas are good if i am getting this result what is it that yama wants to accomplish when I mean, there can there has to be something good hidden even in this that is the mindset of a person who is a dharmic person these are all facets about dharma huh? when we say somebody is pious person somebody is dharmic person first thing they have to have faith is in karma siddhant just like erroneous action bring erroneous results good actions definitely bring good result and second one we will always have doubt that is what needs shraddha my current actions will bring the right results kim svidyamasya kartavyam yan maya adya karishyati now one way to look at this verse is we have to deal with two things in life one is our past another is our future past is set in stone we cannot change it don't apply sadarshanam here <laughs> <laughs> different classes there is a different set of message okay ron marshi ji takes a different turn about past and future we have to deal with our past look at our future now whatever i have done in my past is coming to me as my karma phala and karma phala is not always erroneous or always dukham we get sukham also so many things are nice good in our life all of that is result of karma and second part is how am i to move ahead how to build my life ahead karma siddhanta says look at our look at your past as destiny sometimes we look at future as destiny right he says no look at your past as destiny and whatever is going to come forward look upon that as purushartha look upon that as purushartha so what did we just see in terms of karma erroneous karma brings dukham so if dukham is coming just having this faith that some erroneous karma is getting washed away it's actually a good thing anyway we have to go through result of karma if i am able to go through this right away it's a very good thing and if i can go through it with knowledge that is again god's grace when our mind is strong 
वी कैन गो थ्रू दुखम थ्रू नॉलेज दैट इज गॉड्स ग्रेस वॉट अबाउट फ्यूचर फ्यूचर हैविंग दिस फेथ दैट गुड कर्म राइट नाउ हैज टू ब्रिंग गुड रिजल्ट गुड कर्म डन राइट नाउ हैज टू ब्रिंग गुड रिजल्ट दैट इज द कन्विक्शन ही हैज इन इज प्रेजेंट कर्म सिद्धांत इज नॉट ओनली फेटलिस्टिक थिंकिंग इट इज ओनली गिविंग अस ए न्यू पर्स्पेक्टिव टू डील विथ अवर पास्ट एंड द पुरुषार्थ पार्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू कार्व अवर फ्यूचर एंड वी नो एवरी टाइम वी कैनॉट बी कार्विंग फ्यूचर सम सिचुएशन विल बी सच इट विल जस्ट मेक अ स्टॉप दैट टाइम वी शुड होल्ड ऑन टू द पास्ट समथिंग ऑफ द पास्ट इज गेटिंग वॉश्ड अवे लेट दिस फेज गो बाय गुरुदेव सेट वन कोट इवन दिस विल पास अवे इट्स अ ग्रेट सोलेस फॉर एवरी स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ इफ समथिंग इज गोइंग गुड डोंट गेट टू एक्साइटेड इवन दिस विल पास अवे इफ समथिंग इज नॉट गोइंग द वे दैट वी वॉन्ट डोंट गेट टू डिप्रेस इवन दिस विल पास अवे दैट इज कर्म सिद्धांत लुकिंग एट अवर पास्ट लुकिंग एट अवर फ्यूचर नाउ ही इज टेलिंग हिज फादर हिस इज He is actually conversing. Huh? Previous one was his thinking. Now he is going and talking to his father. What does he say? Six mantra. Anupasya yatha purve, prati pasya tatha pare. Anupasya yatha purve, prati pasya tatha pare. Sasya miva martya pachyate. सस्यमिव मर्त्य पच्यते सस्यमिवा जायते पुनः सस्यमिवा जायते पुनः दिस लिटिल बॉय सिक्स इयर ओल्ड ही इज हैविंग दिस मेच्योरिटी टू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इज पॉइंट इस इज फादर वेन एवर यू आर इन डाउट whenever you have pressure situation and you have moral conflicts inside should i do this or should i not do this how should we take a decision he says whenever you are in such a situation look at what noble people in the past have done anupashya yatha purve anupashya means look carefully whoever you have faith in noble people in the past look at how they have taken decisions in similar situations if you don't have anybody from the past then right now if you have a revered person noble person look at how they are living their life how they are taking decisions do exactly what they should they would do anupashya tatha purve pratipashya tatha apare apare means right now whoever is there look at them and take a decision or look at the past our ancestors whenever they gave a word they would never go back on their word so if you have told i will send you to yamaloka don't go back on your words stick to your words he says my understanding in life is this we should not try to gain material benefits at the cost of values if we have a choice between holding on to dharma and letting go of some material benefit nachiketa is telling my understanding is hold on to values even if it comes at the cost of material benefit see one thing we should remember there is one law which is called as law of the land whatever errors are done law of the land will give one result knowingly if i do it or unknowingly they don't care they will give whatever result is supposed to be given but there is another result which comes which is a cosmic result what we call as law of karma 
which cannot, which no person can escape. That is what it says here. Huh? Take a good positive example to understand this. Let us say we walk outside and somebody is needing a ride. You go and help that person without that person asking. You just ask them, do they need a ride? You go and drop that person to their home. This is one karma. Now onlooker who is there, he might praise and say, you see such a nice person. Without even asking, he went and gave this person a ride. Now that is material benefit. This person's karma phala doesn't end there. He will get another karma phala which is the Bhagwan's creation, cosmic law. Very possible that when he needs a ride, somebody else might give it to him. And this account, the one who takes care of, that is Bhagwan. This is how Shankaracharya introduces. Huh? Who is Bhagwan? The one who makes sure that our karma phalas come to us without any flaw in the system. Imagine there are millions of jivas. And every jiva is doing some karma. If it is a person keeping track, which jiva has done which karma, which karma phala has to go to, which jiva, it will be chaos. We will suddenly get results which we have never done. So Bhagwan says, you leave that up to me. But as far as our values are concerned, it creates an impression on cosmic creation. So this person says, even if I have to let go of material benefit, I will let go of. But I will not do anything which is adharma. I had read one story, anecdote, you know, about his. He was just telling about his life. This is about an civil servant in India. You know, whenever they have to work with politicians, they will have their own agenda. Politicians come for five years. These people have to stay there throughout their life. And they keep changing, but still you have to learn how to work with them. And sometimes they'll ask you to do something which you don't agree with in your values. It's helpful if you take politician example <laughs> and some other person. But this person said, one thing I'm very proud of in my entire career, I never bowed down for the wrong thing. Anybody asked me to do anything against my value, never did I bow down to it. And he says, I had to go through the consequences of it. The only way they can hold these people back is give them some department which nobody wants. Such a capable person, the department he would get is stationery and press printing. <laughs> you know, he has to be there for five years. Second department he said he got was Coconut Development Board. <laughs> in charge of Coconut Development Board. But he says, when I look back, I feel peace within. That is Karma Siddhanta. Even if I have to let go of material benefit, if it comes at the cost of values, this person says, I don't hesitate to let go of outer benefit. Now this point we have to be careful. Huh? Value is different from ego. Sometimes it is not value which is holding back. It is our ahankara which holds us back. So there we have to make a slight distinction. Is this, did I communicate it properly? Many a times we say, I'm not going to bow down. But it is not value which is holding us back. It is our ahankara which is holding us back. So this is not that example. He says, whenever you have to make a choice between value and material benefit, don't compromise on values. Having compromised on value, even if we get material benefit, it will not give us happiness. It is not going to stay too long. That is his mindset. Now he gives illustration. He says, how is our time in this world? Sasyam iva martyaf pachyate, sasyam iva ajayate punaha. Have you heard Vande Mataram song? There it comes, right? Sasya syamalam, pulakita kahaminim. Sasya means crop. He says, Father, our time in this world, 
is very short. We are like crops. Every 10 years, one harvest is one harvest is done and new harvest comes. Means generation after generation is getting wiped off. But not only it is getting wiped off, same thing has to come back again. Journey doesn't end with this life. Life continues. He says if we were to do adharma and let us say we were to become immortal, then we could have considered it at least. Anyway we are going to die, we might as well give up this body by doing dharma. That is his analysis. He says, Sasyamiva Martyav Pachyate, Sasyamiva Ajayate Punaha. We come back in this world like crops, we perish like crops. So we have to be careful not to compromise on our nobility at the cost of some material benefit. Now Upanishad's story moves very quickly. Where is Nachiketa right now? Talking to his father down on earth. Next verse is a verse being spoken by Yamacharya's wife to Yama. What happened in between? <laughs> if it was Purana, they would say, you know, what all happened down when he goes to Yamaloka? What was the tree there? How was the climate there? Slowly they will describe. By the time you reach, four or five chapters are gone. If you are attending Ramcharit Manas class, you will see. Bhagwan gets down from boat, goes and meets Kevat, ten dohas. <laughs> Slowly he will go, he will describe everything. Upanishad is, you know, cricket language T20. <laughs> Very fast paced, you have to fill in the gap. So Nachiketa left his body over there, went to Yamaloka. First of all, Yamadutas were confused. They said, whoever comes here, they are dragged here. Hmm? Nobody comes nicely smiling and all. Here is a boy who is coming on his own. And they start asking him, whom, you know, where have you come? What do you want to accomplish over here? He says, I have come here to meet Lord Yama. He says, he has gone on business travel. <laughs> three days he is not there. You will have to wait for three days. Please take some water, take some food. He says, nothing doing. Until I meet Yama, until I talk to him, I am not going to eat, I am not going to drink any water. They say, at least come inside, stay in the house. I say, no, I am going to wait out. Little boy, six year old. This is another message. Whenever we go to Tirtha Kshetra, whenever we go to meet somebody, first accomplish the work for which we have gone. If you have gone to take darshan somewhere, there might be shops on both sides. <laughs> Don't look left and right. On the way back you do. That's a vritti, huh? that's a thought. What is my main goal? I have gone there to take darshan, why should I get distracted by anything else? He says that quality will help us in spiritual journey. That student will be you know, in horses, they put those blinds on both sides so that horse doesn't look left and right. Once teacher tells him, you are Brahma, he will not look left and right. Until he goes and abides in that self, not get distracted with anything on this journey. So many things might come. Praise, criticism, honor, dishonor, everything he leaves aside goes and gets his goal first. Ramana Maharshi Ji gives example of a diver, Saddarshanam. Olden days, if a ring would fall in the well, there was no way to get it out. One person has to go inside, get the ring and come. But how does he know where the ring is? The whole well is there. So he would ask the person whose ring has fallen inside, he would say, which part of the well did you lose it? That side, this side, this side, where did you lose? So roughly she would say, I was standing here, I was pulling from here, I lost it here. You say, how big is it? He would get the details. Once he get the details, 
you will dive directly there get the ring come back no wasting time in looking at you know what is that scuba diving <laughs> other things are there many good things might be there this is my goal is ring if you don't get it come out ask again go back again ramana maharshi ji says this should be our focus in spiritual pursuit once we know our nature is consciousness don't go here and there seek it right in that place where teacher has pointed out don't find it come back again get more knowledge go to the same place but how did he get this quality in his transactional life he was very focused on his goal whenever he went with any agenda unless he accomplishes that agenda he will not look at anything else this is nachiketa's quality he says three nights i will live without food without water yamacharya after his travel sometimes he has to go long distance you know he comes back and he sees for the first time his wife is standing at the door generally doesn't doesn't happen huh he says wife is standing there and she is going to tell yamacharya what is dharma one mahatma ji would say how do you know it is his wife telling the only wife of dharma raja can teach dharma to dharma raja <laughs> the one who is the king of dharma to him she is telling now what happens when a noble person is disrespected next two verses are spoken by yamacharya's wife vaishwanar pravishati वैश्वान प्रवशति अति ब्राह्मणो गृहान अति ब्राह्मणो गृहान तस्ता शांति कुरवती तस्ता शांति कुरवती हर वैवस्वोदक हर वैवस्वोदक आई एम वेरी इंप्रेस्ड विथ युअर चैंटिंग इट्स साउंड सो गुड टू सी एवरीबडी चैंट इन द सेम पिच बाय द वे कठोपनिषद इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉप्युलर उपनिषद फॉर चैंटिंग एस्पेशली ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पितृपक्ष टाइम कंसिडर्ड वेरी ऑस्पिशियस टू चैंट कठोपनिषद next one is kaivalya upanishad and another popular one is taittiriya upanishad in terms of chanting these three upanishads are very popular in chanting it has its own result wife of yamacharya is telling yama she says vaishvanarah pravishati atithi brahmano gruhan if a noble person who is satvik person has values if such a person comes home that person is like fire vaishwanarah is means if you handle the fire well you get lot of warmth we can cook food in that fire but if fire is not handled properly it can cause lot of damage what we call it double edged sword you use that sword well you can use it creatively we mishandle that sword we can damage ourselves so she says any atithi any guest who comes home in particular if they are noble people could be anybody huh? relatives friends that atithi is like fire tasye tam shantim kurvanti please go and pacify that guest हर वैवस्वतोदकम हियर इज ए कलश विथ वाटर प्लीज गो एंड डू दी पाद प्रक्षालन ऑफ नचिकेत ऑल दिस पॉइंट शंकराचार्य राइट्स ही इलेबरेट्स वाई डिट शी गिव वॉटर सो दैट ही कैन गो एंड ऑफर इट टू नचिकेत इस उपनिषद इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग है हु इज द स्टूडेंट ऑफ कठोपनिषद नचिकेत हु इज द टीचर ऑफ कठोपनिषद yamacharya who is washing whose feet 
यमाचार्य इज वॉचिंग नशे घेत अस फीट दिस इज धर्मराज आहे राईट नाव द बॉन्ड बिटवीन स्टुडंट अँड टीचर इज नॉट फॉर्म्ड सो राईट नाव ही सेस दिस इज माय ड्युटी अँड ही इज अ ब्राह्मण ही इज अ गेस्ट हू हॅज कम ही इज अ अतिथी सो इट इज माय ड्युटी टू गो अँड डू वॉट एव्हर हॅज टू बी डन अतिथी मीन्स वन हू कम्स विदाऊट इन्फॉर्मिंग वन हू कम्स विदाऊट इन्फॉर्मिंग इफ ही कम्स विथ इन्फॉर्मिंग और बाय इन्फॉर्मिंग इज स तिथी ही एज टोल्ड यू वेन ही इज कमिंग अँड ही कम्स नो सच अ पर्सन इट इज कन्सिडर्ड इवन ऑस्पिशियस इफ दे कम ड्युरिंग मील ऑन दीज टू वर्सेस देर इज सो मच ऑफ इलॅबरेशन गिवन है डिफरंट कमेंटेटर्स हॅव रिटन वॉट दे से इज इफ अन अतिथी कम्स ड्युरिंग मील टाइम we should do whatever it takes to feed that atithi without having any doubts why we should do it and it is said there are several reasons why we should do it but one reason which really spoke to me was this this person who is coming is part of ishvara srishti this person is part of god's creation other than this one needs no reason to feed any atithi who comes during meal time and there is there are several shlokas which say if we cannot give food because somebody might say we live in a different culture we live in a different society if you cannot give food give water if we cannot give water let us say for some reason give them floor let them sit and go for some time if we cannot give food water or floor at least what we should give is good words so atithi should never be sent back empty handed if it's a noble atithi and he goes back empty handed what are the things which come to that person that is given in the next verse eighth verse आशा प्रतीक्षे संगत सुनृता आशा प्रतीक्षे संगत सुनृता इष्टापूर्ते पुत्रपशून सर्वान् इष्टापूर्ते पुत्रपशून सर्वान् एतद्वृंते पुरुषस्यालपमेधस एतद्वृंते पुरुषस्यालपमेधस यश्न यश्न वसती ब्राह्मणो गृहे ब्राह्मणो गृहे पुरुषस्य अल्पमेधस लुक एट द लास्ट टू लाइन्स फर्स्ट दॅट पर्सन हू हॅज लिमिटेड इंटलेक्ट हू हॅज नॉट थॉट अबाउट लाईफ एज अ होल दीज थिंग्स गो अवे एतद वृंगते वृंगते मीन्स दे गो अवे वाय डिड दे गो अवे यस्य गृहे ब्राह्मण अनश्न वसती इन दॅट पर्सन्स होम ए ब्राह्मण ए नोबल पर्सन वॉज डिसरिस्पेक्टेड अनश्न मीन्स यू वॉज नॉट फेड बट इट इज सेड यू वॉज डिसरिस्पेक्टेड सी वेन एवर वी रीड दिस वर्ड्स वी स्टार्ट फीलिंग ओ वाय डू दे राईट सच थिंग्स यू नो इज इट टू क्रिएट सम फिअर दॅट यू नो इफ यू डोंट डू दिस दिस विल हॅपन see vedanta is here to remove our fear they will not say anything to instill more fear so one way to look at this verse is the one who respects a noble person he will be blessed with all these eight things that is better right yamacharya's wife is telling yama go and take this water wash nachiketa's feet quickly because the one who respects a noble person is blessed with all these things 
If you don't do it, we'll miss it out. All these things will go away. But a positive way to read it is the benefit side. Now, what are these eight things which go away if a Brahmana is hungry in a person's home? That is listed in the first two lines. Asha. Asha means whatever results we hope to get. Whatever results we hope to get. Pratiksha means we know we will get it, but we are just waiting to get it. If we are hoping that our friend will come home, that is called as Asha. If friend says, I am going to come Sunday evening, it will be done with Bal Vihar, I will come in the evening time. You are waiting for your friend to come, that is called as Pratiksha. So in our life also, we are waiting for things to happen. Then there are few things which we know are going to happen, it is just a matter of time when it will happen. So she says, results related to both these things are lost. Asha is gone, Pratiksha is gone. Sangatam, whatever satsang we have done, gives good results. So whenever a Brahmana is not respected, whatever satsang we had done, those fruits go away. Sangatam means that. Sundrutam, Sundrutam means whatever results are going to come because of good speech. Look at Upanishad analysis. Huh? So many results we want in life, they will come through these things only. We are waiting for some things, we are anticipating some things, we have done satsang and the results are going to come, or we have, through speech, we are going to accomplish certain things. Sundrutam. How many are done? Four are done. Asha, Pratiksha, Sangatam, Sundrutam. Fifth one is Ishta. Ishta. Ishta means whatever karmas I do for myself and for family. Family has a need because of which I did something that is called as Ishta Karma. Sixth one is Apurta Karma. Whatever karmas I am doing for a community. That is called as Apurta. Both will give results. Means if you make a wooden bench, if you yourself do it, put it in your backyard. Family needs it, you will use it. That is called as Ishta Karma. Same bench you take and put it in a park. That is called as Apurta Karma. Because it is for a community. And this is also telling these are the duties a person should be doing. Not only family, but also for society. And they will get good results based on that the karmas that they are doing. Those results are also taken away. Ishta, Apurta. Then, Putra Pashun. Putra means progeny and all relatives. Whatever joy has to come from them, that joy is also gone. And Pashun means cattle. Olden days, cattle was the symbol of wealth. But now we can add all cars, all vahanas we can add there. Huh? Pashu means that. Whatever result has to come, whatever joy we have to get from that, one doesn't get. Putra Pashun Sha Sarvan, she doesn't elaborate more. She says everything is lost. What is the thing that he did? Yasya Gruhe Brahmanaha Anashnan Vasati. This Nachiketa, if he stays hungry for too long, we are going to lose eight things and much more. Please quickly go and uh, take care of Nachiketa. Yamacharya must have come tired, you know. Can I freshen up, take some tea and go? Quickly he took his kalash, getting ready to go and meet Nachiketa. This is a very interesting thing. Generally, people are afraid of Yama. This is a unique case when Yama is afraid of somebody, that to a little boy, Nachiketa. Now he is going to go and meet Nachiketa. What does he say when he meets? With what bhavana he goes to meet Nachiketa? That is the next mantra. We will see it in the next session. 
ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಕ್ಷತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ